And you're in luck because Mandy's here to help you out. So if you need help with anything, raise your hand. We'll be there for you. If you need to leave at any time, don't go out any of these doors except that one right there. Take a look. Manny is pushing open door number three of the three you just came through. Give it a good hard push if you need to go to the restroom or you just can't wait for a churro. Okay. What can I say? Sure. Now, uh, this is a rough sketching class. So when we draw a character here, we do it with no eraser, the way Disney artists have for years. Okay, We start out with a very basic shape. We build and carve out until we have what we want. With no erasure, right, here's some great we'll advice. Are you paying attention, Rapunzel? This is really important. Draw lightly at first. Don't push hard on your pencil. Make heavy, dark lines right away. All right? Just watch what I'm doing, and when I say let's lock it in, then we'll darken in those lines and shapes. By the end of it, you're going to have a wonderful drawing of a rather dastardly duck. His name is Donald Duck, but in this case, he's getting ready for Halloween. And Sweet. so we're going to be drawing him as Devil Donald. Are you ready to draw Devil Donald? Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> calm down, Thomas. Here we go. We're going to start with the circle. Everybody, put your hand in the air like you just don't care. Lock your wrist and elbow. And when you draw a circle, let your shoulder roll around, okay? I'm not going to move anything but my shoulder. And that little dot right there is the middle of my page. Here's where my circle is going to go right around that little belly button. I'm going to draw in a pretty good size circle. You have a much bigger piece of paper in front of you than I do. You can make this the size of a softball, right? Big circle. And I've gone around several times because I'm like you. I can't draw perfect circles, as you can see. So I made several, but I'll build on the stuff that looks good and let the other stuff just fade into the background. Now, Guidelines are there to show us where a character's eyes, nose, and everything goes. One's going to go right through the middle, just like that. And the other one, going across, is not going to go right through the middle. It's going to drop down to about a quarter of the way up from the bottom. Okay, so three quarters of the way down, let's say right about here. Okay? All right. Now that we've got that in place, we can draw in the corner of his smile. Even though he's going to be looking a bit fiendish, he's going to be smiling like he enjoys it. All right? The corners of his smile are going to go right where the circle meets that crossing guideline right here, a letter J, and likewise over here. Okay? Now the top of his bill is going to start right underneath this letter J, even with the bottom of our circle. So now I'm kind of like right there, and it's going to end up over here under that J. And I'm just going to bring a little hill, shaving off a little bit of the bottom of my circle from here to there, just like that. Now you're going to see the bill take, uh, take shape as we turn these J's into S's. I'm going to go out and down, and out and down. I think you can clearly see that this Donald Duck's bill now. And in case you can't, we'll continue on. We'll give it a little bit of thickness. By going just underneath this line, I'm going to draw another little hill right here. That'll give it some width. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make that the very first thing that I absolutely lock in. That is not going to change. And we're going to go ahead and lock in this curve right here. And we're going to add a little bit of detail to it to make his smile look like it's really pushing up his cheeks with a little single line, a very small single line rainbow at the top of each of those letter G. Now, his cheeks are going to come up and over those corners of his smile, like a little upside-down letter U, so I'll just draw them in very, very messily there. That looks good. Now, as I lock these in, I'm going to keep pretty close to that smile. I don't want to you know, give it a lot of space all around. I want it to be pretty tight inside that little letter here. Looks good. Time to lock in this line. Now, let's go ahead and do that. Now. We are drawing him this way, of course, in honor of the fact that we are in Halloween season here at the Disneyland Resort, and we've been drawing a lot of our favorite characters in their Halloween costumes, and a lot of our villains, too. If you, if you uh, check the schedule outside, you might see villains listed, and uh, stop by for one of those classes. They're challenging, but a lot of fun. 
I'm going to open his mouth up by going to the side of, well, actually, let's go right to this corner of his smile here, and I'm going to bring down two diagonal lines like this, super light and loose. Okay, I'm going to join them gracefully together at the bottom, and then lock all of that in. There's his open mouth, and since his mouth is wide open, what do you think we're going to see inside? His tongue, correct. And his tongue is just a little pointed V, right there underneath his bill, just like that, okay? He needs a lower lip, so I'm just going to, as we say in art class, follow the steady line. Look at this curve, and I'm gonna draw it again just a little bit further out, and that's gonna give him that lower lip, okay? There we go, it should be just about as wide as that little gap right there and right there, and then I think it is. Let's go ahead and lock it in too. Now, spooky cartoons are, no, are nothing strange to the folks at the Walt Disney Animation Studios going all the way back to the man himself, Walt Disney. Walt must have had a real penchant for spooky stories. He told all kinds of spooky stories and gave us lots of scary characters in his films as well. I'll tell you about a few of them in just a minute, but let's go ahead. We gotta get that fiendish look in his eyes. Here's where I like to start. We're gonna put a big piece of pie right here in the middle of his forehead. And I'm just gonna go up a teeny bit from this line to right there. And then I'm gonna go up and out and up and out like that. Okay, now it should look pretty even on both sides, which it does, right? We've got a nice big slice of pizza pie there. Okay, now the eyes themselves are going to be these, if this is kind of like a big letter J, and I'm putting from that line right to this line. It's going to be sitting right on top of that, right up against his cheek, and then going right to that middle point. Likewise, on the flip, let's do that. You can see I am inside my circle. Here's the outside of my circle. I'm inside it a bit here, and I'll do the same thing over here. Looking good. Let's go ahead and just get that curve locked in. We're going to add a little more detail, a little change to those brows. Though. They're looking kind of rigid. I don't want them to be that rigid. So we'll fix those in just a minute. Now getting back to Walt Disney and his, his uh, penchant for scary stories, it goes way back, kids. Let me tell you, he, he had Mickey Mouse in some rather spooky cartoons early in his career. There's one called The Haunted House, there's one called The Mad Doctor, one called The Gorilla, in which Minnie is getting attacked by a big escaped gorilla from the zoo. It's really scary stuff. Anyway, and, uh, and then he made his first Silly Symphony, okay? That's a cartoon that Walt Disney made that was kind of like a music video. All music, no star character like a Mickey, Minnie, or Donald. And uh, the first one was called The Skeleton Dance. And I know a lot of you have seen that. I'll tell you, if you got Disney Plus, revisit The Skeleton Dance. They just restored it, cleaned it up. It looks like it came out yesterday. It is beautiful. I was so excited. All right, here's what I want to do to those brows. I want to give them a little bit of a curve. So I'm going to go right here. And you can see I'm just going to kind of stretch out kind of an S curve comes down like that. Now right here in the middle, I'm going to put a little furrow for his brow, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the flip side. And I want them to match each other, so I'm going to go kind of slow here so that I, yep, I'm thinking i got a match. Let's go ahead and lock this one in too. There we go. Now, his eyes, because he's staring out at us with evil intent, I'm going to go ahead and draw in as much of a, a uh, oval, a pupil for him, as I can fit into that very, very small space. You can see a lot of it over on this side and on this side, and just a little bit on the inside. That looks good. Let's lock that in. Mm, okay, so Mickey Mouse in those old cartoons. Then you had uh, the wonderful skeleton dance. And then in Fantasia, the night on Bald Mountain, where Chernabog rises up out of the grave and, or of the mountain and brings all the ghosts up out of the graveyard. Spooky, spooky stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and put some brows around the ends of that line right there. 
big C curve right there. Kind of exaggerate that muscle on both sides. Looks good. I'm going to go ahead and lock that on in on both sides. And we can go ahead and lock in the sides of his face. Before I do, I'm going to add just a little inward curve above each cheek to show a little feathery fluff. And then pick a line from my original circles to lock in thusly. And now we'll give him that typical hairdo that he's famous for. We're going to go up like this. And when we get to the top middle line there, bring it up like the shark fin like this. You know, we, shape, we save sharp corners and things for villains. And normally you wouldn't find that on a character like Dahl because even though he has that temper problem, right, he's not really a villain. But in this case, we're going to really play it up. The sharper, the better. And it's about to get a whole lot sharper as we add his horns to him. Then after Fantasia, I keep jumping around in Disney history. Ichabod and Mr. Toad. It is not Halloween unless I can watch The Legend of Sleepy Hollow Disney style in that wonderful, wonderful film. It is one of my all-time favorites, narrated by the late, great Bing Crosby. So fantastic. Love it. See it on Disney+. Plus. Sorry for the shameless plugs. I can't help myself. It's there. And I, I just want everybody to enjoy it, especially if you've never seen it before. Okay, now the horns, right? I'm going to put them kind of like right around those brows. I'm going to bring it up like this. And you want these to be nice and sharp so that they look pretty threatening. Donald did actually appear as the devil in a, a very briefly in a few cartoons. There were a couple where you saw like the shoulder angel and the devil, you know, kind of pop up on Donald's shoulders and have a little bit of a, a, a fight between them. That was in an old cartoon called Donald's Decision from the, the World War II era. And then there was one where he briefly turned devil-like at the end. It was called Suits On, I think, with Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and he, he's chasing them because they've been up to mischief at the end, and he gets the turns devilish as he runs after them. So he has appeared that way in a couple of cartoons. Now, we're also going to give him the uh, very vampire-like collar. Well, I should say devil-like collar, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of use his, uh, his beak here. I'm going to go out to here, and then from this side out to here. And then I'm going to draw a curve that's going to go right into the side of his face. And if you were to follow it, it'd come out the other side right there. You can do that. You can do a little draw and just make it really, really light. And then the bottom of it's going to come towards his bill, his lower bill. Just like that. that looks good. Lock in those lines above and below. And once you've done that, you have finished your drawing. The most fiendish looking of all the Disney. We draw a few different characters in their Halloween costumes. Even Mickey and the little vampire, uh, Minnie as a witch. Uh, but this is the one that really looks <laughs> the scariest <laughs> of that group of the sensational six characters in their costumes. It's definitely double Donald. I'm going to take my pencil here. I'm going to turn it sideways and make it kind of a Crayola as I shade in those horns, making them look a little more threatening, a little more poisonous like that, and then the, the collar as well. I'm just going to add that a little bit of sketchy color to that. And then last but not least, I'm going to sign my devilish duck right over here. 2023. <laughs> I wish I could do a doll duck voice. Anyway, how'd you all do? Still diligently working on it, like don't disturb me. Just right, Thomas. Okay. And you guys up in the back, you did great, right? Okay. Oh, now, now, now. We're going to have an art show, okay? I'm going to count to three, then I want all of these devils to rise up from the depths. All right? Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Show me those 